All righty, I am so excited to be making this video. It's been a long process of coaster construction for the 2025 project, and we haven't even gotten started. That's the crazy part. All of this that we've watched over the last, like, how long has it been? Six months has been land prep. Land prep for Canada's Wonderland's most likely biggest investment in history. With that being said, there has been so much speculation, mostly from me, about who the coaster manufacturer can be. It all started when Canada's Wonderland released a survey last year about possible additions coming to the park. It seems to be a very common Cedar Fair thing now, and they teased in the survey a launched wing coaster with winged trains launching into the mountain and out of the mountain. Now, a lot's changed since that survey, and I can tell you what I once thought was going to be a launched wing coaster has completely changed. And it appears that the park has changed their mind as well. Now, we're not going to talk about any of that in this video. We're just going to discuss what I currently think I know. So with that being said, I want to remind you guys that I am a rumors and speculation and construction channel, and all I do is cover current construction projects and rumors and speculation at Canada's Wonderland and update you based off of what I'm hearing. Since starting my channel back in the Yukon era, I've learned a lot about industry news, how to cover things, how to learn things, who to trust, who not to trust, and how to figure out what information is a little more correct than others. With that being said, on this project, I can promise you guys, even though I am a rumors and speculation channel, you are getting as accurate of information as I can possibly get for you guys, and I am siphoning through false information and real information and ensuring that what I am providing you guys is completely accurate. Now, what I want to talk about before I get really into it is... The things I'm going to discuss today on why I think it is a certain manufacturer, it comes down to each manufacturer has custom designs, um, patents, certain design factors in terms of footings, track design, um, footing layout, uh, how they can fit in certain spaces. There's a lot of factors that come down to what kind of coaster you could be looking at when you're looking at footings, threaded rod, um, support structure, even uh, the, the footing patterns, the, the size of the footings, and the layout. So those are the things that were considered in today's video. And if you are a Patreon and you've met me at the park in the last week, you know that what I am presenting today has a lot of facts behind it. But again, until the park makes an announcement, please view this as rumors and speculation. Let's get started. So there are a total possibility of... Let's list out the manufacturers, because I forgot how many. We have Vacoma. We have Bulger and Mabillard. We have uh, Intamin. We have Premier. And we have Mach. So those are the five coaster manufacturers that are most likely to be working with Canada's Wonderland on the 2025 project. You obviously have other companies like Gert Slauer, um, but I'm going to limit it down to those five for this video. I'm also going to limit it down even more. I'm sorry, I totally left out Zamperla, so six. Now, what I want to talk about before I start doing that is the Zamperla Premier and Intamin dupe. So Intamin is a leading manufacturer of roller coasters in the industry, and they have a very specific design when it comes to threaded rod, um, support structure, and um, footing layout. Now, what I want to say is Zamperla being so new um, and not having that new lightning coaster model out there, a custom layout, it has been really hard to figure out if this could be a Zamperla. Um, so I just wanted to say that, that when I do discuss manufacturers, that Zamperla is extremely up in the air because we have not seen a custom layout with their lightning launch coaster. So it is very hard to completely rule it out. Um, but when it comes to Premier, there are other characteristics of their threaded rod um, and their footing layout that makes it a lot easier to rule out certain things. So let's get into it. Um, I want to start off with a Bulger and Mabillard because that's a popular rumor 
um, for a coaster coming to Canada's Wonderland. So I want to tell you guys that it will not be a Bulger and Mabillard. B&M will not be the manufacturer of our 2025 coaster based off of what we've seen. So Bulger and Mabillard has a very distinct um, design when it comes to threaded rods, spacers, footing layout, and sheer size of the project. Um, they have very, very distinct characteristics, and I can promise you guys that based off of evidence I have seen um, covering this project and evidence that I have seen in recent days, that this is most certainly not a Bulger and Mabillard coaster. So we are ruling out with full confidence that B&M is the manufacturer of our 2025 coaster. So what does that leave? Mock. Could Mock be the manufacturer of our 2025 coaster? There's been a lot of rumors out there, um, especially surrounding their new Voltron um, Striker model um, that just opened up. And I can tell you guys that Mock has the most distinct, um, next to B&M, threaded rod and footing layout out there in the industry. In fact, uh, Mock doesn't use uh, threaded rod. They use rebar for their um, coaster support to uh, footing connector. Um, so Mock was one of the easier manufacturers to completely rule out. So we're here to tell you that Mock will not be the coaster manufacturer of our 2025 coaster. We are ruling out Mock with full confidence um, as a potential coaster manufacturer for our 2025 project. So who does that bring us to? Vacoma. Now, Vacoma has been a really hard manufacturer to rule out for our 2025 project. I'm going to tell you guys that. We have done a lot of research um, with some shipments that have arrived, have started to arrive at Canada's Wonderland, Vacoma became a very likely source due to some of the Dutch translation. Um, so we were full-heartedly investigating Vacoma based off of some stuff we've seen and heard. And it has been one of the th most thorough investigations I have probably done as a content creator covering coasters. Vacoma, like Bulger and Mabillard and Mock, has a very distinct threaded rod design and column design um, and footing layout like the other manufacturers I just listed. So we started to clue in that Vacoma uses a very distinct um, footing and uh, threaded rod along with that. So when we started analyzing our coaster layout and our potential footing markings along with some other evidence, we quickly learned that it did not align with Vacoma's LSM coaster lineup. Now, that is assuming that our 2025 coaster is an LSM launch coaster, which we full-heartedly um, stand behind. We are capable of ruling out Vacoma. We think with about a good 85% accuracy that Vacoma will not be the coaster manufacturer of our 2025 coaster. Now, obviously, there is room for error there, um, but we are going to make this video and fully support the evidence we have investigated. So we are ruling out Vacoma for 2025. So what does that bring us down to? That brings us down to Zamperla, Intamin, and Premier. Well, you heard from this coaster channel, me, Amusement Insiders, that Premier was a rumor that we had stumbled upon. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I heard a very concrete rumbling in the coaster industry um, from some very reliable sources that Premier was someone that Canada's Wonderland had been considering for the 2025 project. Furthermore so, it was someone that they had actually chosen. Um, I didn't believe the rumor. If you remember my video when I covered it, I personally didn't like the things that I had heard about that rumor. Um, it was very last minute and they felt rushed and they had to choose Premier because no one else could work with them. Well, we did some investigating and Intamin only has two to three coaster projects for the 2025 season, one of which was delayed to 2026. Um, so we know that Intamin wasn't busy. Uh, we also know that for such a large scale investment and project, Canada's Wonderland isn't that park that is going to rush an addition, um, especially of this scale. It's not a park that is going to just choose a manufacturer for a coaster that's going to go from extreme into the mountain, out of the mountain, and into Elpin. Um, so I think that if there was problems finding a manufacturer so last minute, they would have delayed the coaster to 2026. Now, 
Premier is a company that is very close in design. I'm going to tell you guys, the team and I, my friends and I, people in the industry, other YouTubers who I have reached out to have had so much difficulty differentiating some of the evidence we have seen from each other. And I'm going to explain why. Premier and Intamin use a very, very similar design in terms of uh, footing layout, spacing between footings, threaded rods, spacers, all that jazz. It was very difficult. So we are not capable of fully ruling out Premier, but we are going to rule out Premier to an extent based off of footing layout. So we notice that Premier, when it comes to really tall elements, uses a four support structure tier. So Premier will use, for example, more of a tower structure to hold up really tall elements on their LSM coaster. For example, if you look at full throttle, you can see it. Now, does that fully mean they'll stick to that? No, and that's why we can't fully rule it out. But based off of current evidence, we are going to give Premier a 20% likelihood um, to being the coaster manufacturer of the 2025 project. I don't personally believe the rumor of Premier, and I will not fully put my support behind Premier. And based off of evidence that we have looked at and overanalyzed for the last week, um, I am putting Premier at a 20% chance. Now, I think that percentage of chance is even too high because based off of what I'm about to tell you, it essentially rules out Premier as a manufacturer completely. So Wonderland has been receiving a lot of shipments over the last week. These shipments are coming overseas. They're arriving in shipping containers and they're arriving by air. They are in Dutch um, and they are arriving from a very specific airport and we've done a lot of research into what these shipments are, and it limits it down to two manufacturers. Well, three, technically, including Mach, but we're able to fully rule out Mach. It brought us down to either Vacoma or Intamin as the coaster manufacturer of the 2025 project. These shipments that have been arriving in crates and boxes and wooden crates with their air tags still on them. So... With that being said, I just essentially gave it away. It limits it down to Vacoma and Intamin. Vacoma, we gave a 10% chance likelihood to being the coaster manufacturer. Again, we did that based off of current footing designs we've seen on current LSM coaster launch. Um, launch coasters, sorry. So let's discuss Intamin. And when I'm talking about Intamin, we have to include Zamperla into the mix. I am viewing Zamperla as the Intamin dupe. So essentially, I personally believe our coaster project for 2025 is an Intamin LSM coaster similar in size with proof to VelociCoaster at Universal Orlando. Now, why did I jump to this conclusion? Well, with recent shipments arriving, they are arriving from an airport very close to a manufacturing plant just one country over in Europe. Um, so... We looked into why they were using the specific airport, and the company they are using to ship the parts to Canada's Wonderland only operates out of three airports along the sea border of Europe, one being in Spain, one being in France, and the other being in the Netherlands. So the closest airport to one of the manufacturers of Intamin was this Netherlands airport. So it is not uncommon for a manufacturer to ship parts from their manufacturing plant to a sea border for sea shipment or an air border for air shipment. Not all airports ship or transport goods and services and people the same way. And the company they have chosen to ship these parts to um, YYZ was the company that only operates out of three airports in Europe. So that is why, with full confidence, Amusement Insiders is predicting Intamin will be the coaster manufacturer of our 2025 project. It also came down to footing layout, um, threaded rod type, spacer type, um, and the current size of the project. With the amount of columns we're seeing, the groups of columns we're seeing, no groups of four, um, we're seeing evidence of a stall, we're seeing evidence of top hats, we really believe we're looking at a Intamin LSM launch coaster. Now, that brings us to the topic of discussion. 
Zamperla. So with a 70% chance of it being Intamin at Canada's Wonderland for the 2025 project, again, we can't fully rule out Zamperla. Cedar Fair has worked with Zamperla. We see no evidence of Zamperla coaster um, spacers, threaded rod, shipments, any of that jazz, footing layouts. We have no concrete evidence to go off of. I personally do not believe Zamperla is the coaster manufacturer for our 2025 project. Um, based off of rumblings I've heard, based off of personal opinion of it being a little too soon. Um, and then obviously taking what El Toro Ryan said in his video a year and a half ago um, to heart with him hearing rumblings about Cedar Fair checking out Velocicoaster and them being so impressed that they had ordered a few of them. Um, it really aligns that Canada's Wonderland might be the first park to be getting an intimate LSM coaster. It wouldn't be out of the realm, even though it's crazy to think, Cedar Fair working with Intamin again, that Wonderland would be that first park to try out an Intamin LSM coaster. Now, I want to hear from you guys. That was a lot of information I just threw at you guys. And again, if you're a Patreon you've, and you've seen me in the park, you've seen some of my evidence. And if you've um, been following along, I really am working hard on covering this project. I This is something I am taking to heart about my accuracy, about my um, the way I cover it. And I just want you guys to know, when I say take things with a grain of salt, and I'm telling you guys, I do mean that. Um, again, we are just a rumors and speculation channel, but I do want to give you guys full confidence in the video I just made for you today, that the information I am presenting to you is information that we have genuinely um, siphoned through. We have, as a friend group, as a team, as myself, I have spent a total of probably like over 48 hours in total going through information, going through photos, going through videos, going through shipments, going through everything um, to limit this down for you guys. So again, we ruled out Mock, we ruled out BNM, and we ruled out um, Vacoma. Uh, as when it comes to evidence we've seen in terms of threaded rod, footing layout, support structure, um, and all that. We ruled out Premier based off of the shipments that have been arriving at Wonderland because Premier ships out of the U.S., so it would not have Dutch writing on it and be coming from um, an airport in the Netherlands. Uh, and we uh, are sticking to uh, an Intamin or Zamperla dupe for the coaster. Now, with that being said, that's all I have for you right now. But I'm telling you guys right now, the co uh, the construction updates are about to start again. So there's been a pause. They've fallen really far behind on Moosehorn Falls. Um, and they're just catching up. And then they're going to start. But I tell you guys, I have a coaster update for you. And they're going to probably be starting full force any day now as they catch up on Moosehorn. They're almost done. Um, they finished the footings. And now they're just doing the caps. So I'll update you guys as I get more information. And I'm really excited to cover this project because this could potentially be the best addition in Canada's Wonderland history, along with the biggest investment in Canada's Wonderland history. Um, but yeah, thanks so much for watching, guys. Um, comment down below uh, who you think the coaster manufacturer is going to be. And uh, I'll see you in the next construction update. Have a good one, guys. Bye.